All right, coming up next, this highly anticipated matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. Middleweight champion of the world, here he is, the number one middleweight contender for a long time. This man has been one of the best 85ers in the world, but this title fight eluded him. It is here right now, he is healthy, he is smack dab in the middle of his prime, and he believes he is the best 85er in the world and is out to prove just that tonight and walk away with 12 pounds of UFC gold. something that he's been able to do in the past. He has been challenged on this title run. It's not as though he has run roughshod through this division, but they're all still chasing him at 185 pounds tonight. At least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge today. Now our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Both fighters 29 years of age with similar height and some differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 19 wins, two losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Dracos Still Not And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 25 wins, six losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting from Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. Presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world. Robert Whitaker! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. can hold up to this one. Good evening from T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Open April of 2016. UFC went there for the first time at UFC 200, and they've been bringing big shows seemingly every other month ever since. They call Vegas the fight capital of the world. And if you're talking about a home 
base for the UFC. You're talking about T-Mobile Arena, home to some of the biggest UFC events ever. UFC 200, Conor McGregor versus Khabib Nurmagomedov. This place has been the home of some of the biggest UFC fights in history. Tonight, you get to take the same walk to that octagon to try to make your mark on the sport. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. And they separate. Oh, big elbow. We got him. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Ah, that jab hurt him. Visibly limping here. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Takedown defense holds up. Ooh, blocks the shot. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at him top of the wood. Strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but just do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Robert Wood. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Whitaker. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Oh, we're getting to... Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage him. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? Let's go, guys, fight. Big kick. Oh, he lands a huge right hand. Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt. Big right hand there. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. To well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on. Oh, he's hurt. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. about the steam behind that Whitaker jab tonight. Robert Whitaker is a great striker. Oh! He's out! Oh! <laughs> yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. 
right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano is going to stop in this contest at one minute, 49 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Robert Whitaker. All right, so there he is, the still UFC middleweight champion of the world. He has retained this.